Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Omega Red playthrough. This is part 25. In this episode, we're here rounding off the free islands. As this episode, we're going to go back to one island. We're going to go ahead and do all of the stuff that we missed, like getting Rock Smash, heading up to the north of the island, possibly checking out Mount Ember. Because right now, when we head back to one island, we should have the quest done which we finished last episode by delivering the meteorite, we did all of the Lestelle stuff, meaning when we go ahead and speak to Bill and Ceiling Fan, they should transport us back to what I would, would assume would be Cinnabar, and then as we do have the pass, it was given to us. Uh, who the heck is this? I'm beginning to get a sunburn. You're a trainer, okay. She looked like one of the Team Galactic admins for some reason, that was weird. Okay, whatever. Ignoring this chick completely, back to what I was saying. We should end up in Cinnabar. We do have the pass though, so we should be able to get back to these islands whenever we like, as we do have the tri-pass. Unless the way the tri-pass works is different from what I remember, which could be the case, because it's been a very, very long time. I know that Something to do with the Tri-Pass is involved with the Elite Four and becoming the champion. I think that's just to access the last four islands of the Sevi Islands. I hope. So, we're gonna grab Rock Smash just in case. All right, I don't want to miss out on Rock Smash completely. I don't think that would ever be a thing that you could do. So, that's why I'm almost certain we can get back here. But, I just want to double check. I want to be... Nice and safe. Croconaut, you know what? We have a powerful Pokemon for this. We have a Delta Celebi. Let's use that. But still, if I remember right, there's a lovely spa up here on one island that I kind of want to go to. I want to check out the spa, you know? It's going to be a really nice place. We can have a relaxing time, and there's definitely going to be no surprises on this route. I can't, I can't say that with a straight face. You can't see my face, but I can't say that with a straight face at all. I just know there's going to be... Wormholes, split paths, mega stones. I, it's all gonna be here, I believe. Uh, do we want a Gyarados fight right now? Not really. We have an electric type, we're fine. To be honest, even Tapu Koko could probably take out the Gyarados. Hit it with a Thunder Shock, boom, done. Watch it mega evolve on us right now, ready? Ready? You ready for the mega evolution? This random chick with the mega evolution? Or not? Imagine if we had Thunder right now, the setup for Thunder. Ooh. Ooh. That'd be great. Part of why Kyogre is so good, because it has Drizzle and it can learn Thunder, and that's a powerful combo. But Gyarados goes down to the Thunder Shock. <laughs> Thunder Bolt, not Thunder Shock. Same thing though to a Gyarados. And we defeat Jupiter, or whatever this person's name is. This person seriously looks like Team Galactic Grunt. I don't know. Or Team Galactic Admin. I. I really just don't know. They're clearly a swimmer in this sprite, but like... They- Are you trying to tell me this isn't? I like that cap you have, maybe I should wear one too. That is not a swimsuit. It's not. I- I know. Detective on the case here. Alright, well we have rock smashes, we can do there. Can we surf over to the left? I don't want to miss things. Oh? Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, this is where we came from. Today, today is a strange day. Uh, my head's a little bad of it. I've been a little bit stressed today trying to get my VR working so I can record Beat Saber again. Um, it's not going well. So, if I seem a little bit stuttery or just stupid, I'm just a little bit stressed about that. It's fine. Bug might. Look at this tiny little icicle. Poor thing. It's gonna get absolutely demolished by an Aquatail. This Aqua Tail is going to be so strong, it cuts straight through the ice. I feel bad, but I don't. Go, disappear. I'm going to pretend this Bergmite is a little hockey puck on a hockey field. We're just going to smack it straight across, straight into the goal. Boom, done, easy. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. What else do you have? Amora. This Pokemon's cry. I'm ready. I'm ready. Give me it. I will be silent. It's so good. It's such a good cry. Amora and Amora's best cry in Pokemon. Don't get me wrong, I love Quick Turn, but that cry is great. It's so good. That, even when it's dying, it's good. That, 
That makes me sad. It does make me sad. Avalog. Well, I guess we stay in. I mean, we're a fire type and a grass type. I would love for more Pokemon to get this typing somehow, but I get that there's a little bit of a conflict there. You know, grass kind of catches fire, you know? It's, it's just sort of how Pokemon works. So I get why there's not a lot of them, but I mean, if you can make Volcanion work as a water fire type, we can have a genuine grass fire type, okay? It's not the craziest thing. If we can make Stunt Bisc work with its ground electric type. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this majestic being. Level 77, by the way. That's nothing to laugh at, actually. Why are you so strong? Still gonna die to a crit, though. Oh, that was perfect, by the way. That was absolutely spot on, okay? Um, I wish I didn't do that. Picnic Eclair, that made me all sweaty. Well, I mean, you have an Amora and an Aurorus. They literally emanate cold. How can you get sweaty by using them? You truly freeze. You, can you had four ice types. What do you mean, sweaty? Hello? Is this person okay? Maybe she's just so out of her temperature zone in this normal place, because she normally battles, like, in ice. Will you turn the other way? There we go. Look at that. Smooth. Can we do anything down here, or do we actually need... Hidden item? Hidden item? Hidden item? Okay. I tried. I really did. Uh, let us go north up here. I remember a double battle somewhere near here. Alright, we're gonna hopefully walk straight past this dude. I don't know if that dude's normally there. Is that a trainer that's gonna give us something? Maybe. Obtain the max repel, too bad. Bag is full. Oh boy. Um, well, we just PP up close combat, so I wanted to do that anyway. We HP up anyone that can get it. Tapu Koko. Sure. Our HM slave needs all of the stat boosts. You don't understand. It needs all of them. Yes. Please. Please. Make it stronger. It won't have any effect. It really- oh, okay. I guess it wasn't the party when I was training special attack. Have some defense. Have some stats. Tapu Koko. Oh. Well. Either way, that's enough. That gives us a max repel, which we'll probably use pretty shortly anyway. Now let's go speak to that trainer and see if he is genuinely there to give us stuff. Or if I'm gonna walk straight into a battle. He didn't turn direction when I ran up to him. That's a good sign. Dang it, okay. You know, I thought... I thought the second we ran up there and he didn't turn, I thought for sure. Marsh Stomp. Well, that's gone. You are about to disappear, buddy. Oh! Just to prove me wrong? Okay. Now you disappear. Don't you get a double protect? Okay. It's gonna say. I don't need that kind of luck against me. I'm gonna waste all my PP. And then the Marsh Comp would actually have a chance. Does that mean Mudkip and Swampert as well? Cloyster? Nope. Okay. There goes my thought process. Level 78. Okay. What level are the Elite Four going to be in this game? They're gonna have to be level 100, right? I mean, I guess we don't have that much left before the Elite Four, technically. Because I imagine the gym at Saffron is probably gonna match that of Fuchsia. To a similar extent, at least. It'll probably be weaker than Blaine's gym. Because we could have accessed it at the same time. But there's still the 8th gym, which is probably going to take us up to like level 80, right? That's got to take us to level 80 or somewhere close. Oh, there's a wormhole. That's a weird place for a wormhole. <laughs> that feels so obvious there. Um, okay. Right, if I can get through these guys with just fighting one of them, that would be great. Can I? I can't, can I? Huh! Oh. 
Uh, okay, no. Alright, we have to battle both anyway. Sure, sure thing. Every morning before breakfast, I swim around this island. It's quite an achievement there, buddy. Um, you sure you don't want to be a swimmer rather than a martial artist? I feel like that would be much more beneficial. I mean, I guess it all helps. Riolu, bop, gone. The spa should be right here, just above these two. And I think we're gonna leave the top of Mount Ember for another time. We'll come back there later on. As we shouldn't really be able to get through all of Mount Ember anyway, because I'm pretty sure we need Rock Smash. And obviously we don't have the gym badge for that just yet. So, after this we'll go ahead and make our way to Saffron Sea. As we do have the tea done and sorted, I believe the trigger for that was just defeating Koga. I'm pretty sure that was the trigger. So we should be golden. There we go. Dress appropriately for battle. That's... That's genuine advice right there. You know, what he just said makes sense. Why am I not dressed for battle? I'm dressed for, like, casual walking. I need, like, a kill. I need a kill. I need to put knives in my kill and be ready for anything. You never know what can happen in this Pokemon world. Gengars can appear out of anywhere, okay? They really can. I don't know what a knife is going to do against a Gengar, to be truly honest. <laughs> that actually probably won't do anything. But you know what? It's better than having nothing. Maybe you could, like... Maybe if you brought two knives, you could smack them together really loudly and scare it away. I'm sure that would work against a Gengar. I'm sure. Uh, let us go for the close combat. I don't know if this is going to KO the Machamp. I really hope it does. Either way, it can't hit us with a stab move. It does not. Scary face. Is that all it can use? Is it dumb of me to use Dragon Glance to find out? Yes, yes it is. Scary face again. I think it has three fighting type moves in Scary Face. Yikes. That's yikes. Dynamic Punch, Cross Chop, and something. Probably. That's probably what it has. Either way, with that I believe we've made it to the top of the island. We get our prize. Oh, what's this? Light the fire in your heart, Ember Spa. Yes, but what is this? An effort. Well, that's anticlimactic. I thought that was going to be a Megastone. That's unfortunate. Either way, the Spa. Here we are. Look at this place. Hit names. Hit names. Soaking in a hot spring pool is therapeutic, people say. Maybe. Ghost Yagami 768. <laughs> Not 678. Can't even read numbers. Um. That's a name. <laughs> that's a little bit longer than the rest of them we've seen. What? Johto. Chikorita. Chikorita. Why would they give a Chikorita in Ember Spa? My brain is not in a good place today, okay? The stress has really gotten to me, I don't know if you can tell. Have a look at my face, see how smooth my skin is? Debatable, but okay. The hot springs water keeps my skin younger than my age. Uh, I sure it does. My favorite part of bathing comes up right after this. I don't like that. I enjoy a bowl of chowder to warm me from the inside too. You, or you, you? Hot springs go hand in hand with volcanoes. The ember spa here, well, I made it years ago. I hewed the pool right out of a gigantic boulder by hand. That's some dedication right there, actually. I was using this at the time. I suppose I can part with it. HM06 Rock Smash. That shatters boulders as if they were made of crackers. Okay, um. Kentapu Coco one? That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Would it be worth teaching it to someone like Gyarados? It really wouldn't. It would be convenient, but not worth it. We'll have to see. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is heavenly. The water warms me to my core. You should jump in too. Go to the middle, relax, and get good and warm. You're kind of in the way. Excuse me? What? Volcanian? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not- that- that makes a lot of sense. 
Yeah, okay. You know what, that one... That one makes a lot of sense. I can't even be mad about that. Of course there's gonna be a Volcanion in the Ember Spa. Yeah, got it. Okay. I think that means we are ready to go ahead and make our way to Saffron. So, on one island, let's speak to Ceiling Fan and see what's going on over here. Oh, hey, Carlos. What kept you so long? Been out having a good time? Kinda, it probably has been a while. We got it done. The PCs are up and running. <sighs> Shut up, Ceiling Fan. Bill is an amazing guy. Okay. Okay. Take me back. You should head back to Kanto. Carlos, I'm really sorry that we sent you off alone today. I promise I'll show you around these islands sometime. Does he? Does he ever do that? I don't think he does. I don't think he ever does that. Hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy Ceiling Fan seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you would visit again. If you have a tripass, you can always take the ferry there from Vermilion. There we go. Nice and clarified. We do have these islands of Articuno to explore as well. The question is, which way do we want to explore them? I suppose it would be smarter to go to Saffron so that we can get Rock Smash, just in case there's anything we want to smash in there. That's probably the smartest way of doing this. So let's go ahead, let's make our way over to Saffron City. We can go right to Celadon, and we'll explore that place. I think we can even pick up the TM for Psychic there normally. I want to see if that's changed, because that's a very powerful TM. And yes, Celebi already has Psychic, but that doesn't stop me from wanting it on every Pokemon. Oh, that tea it looks awfully tasty. Huh? I can have the strength? Gee, thanks! Oh, that's great! If you want to go to Saffron City, you can go on for it. I'll share this to you with the other guards. Imagine if that was all it took in real life to get anywhere you wanted. What is with this place? What are these buildings? Saffron belongs to Team Rocket. What are these buildings? What? Well, said he'll take this town? What is this? Uh... This is new. Alright, so we still have the mini gym dojo, which I assume is going to act the same. And we can go ahead and do that. But for now, Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. Nice to see that this place hasn't been blocked off. Brock's the last word on call. End of story. Now there's a guy I want to be like. I think trainers are so cool when they're battling, don't you think so too? I wonder if I can become a cool trainer one day. All of us gathered here are Pokemon trainers, the way they look in battle, blah 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 blah. Uh, so we don't have the chairman of the fan club here, interesting. What other houses can we access? We can access this one down here. Mr. Psychic's house, this is the one. Raven! Okay. Okay. Beldum? Ooh. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. Yes, yes, I did. Thank you. Appreciated. TM29 is psychic. That is very good. And that's next to the Beldum, which is also pretty good. Uh, I guess we'll speak to you. We've still under control. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that was pretty much what I was expecting. Let's have a quick look at that Beldum. Delta Beldum? I <laughs> I don't think so, but it would be amazing. Uh, oh, right, we also got the Smoochum before. I completely forgot about this. Timid! It's not bad. It's still a Smoochum, though, so I'm never going to use it, but it's not bad. Sweet Kiss, Powder Snow, Confusion. Okay. Oh, we do have the Chestman as well. We have a lot of Pokemon in here now. A lot of Gift Pokemon. Pure Power. That's a good ability. That's a... Very powerful ability. Um, that's really good. We'll, we'll see about that. I don't. <laughs> uh, you have Blaze, Beldum. These are both still completely normal typings. You have Clear Bodies. So that's not changed. Okay, they look the same. Did Switchman have a different ability? Oblivious. No. Chespin's ability? Is that its normal hidden ability? I don't feel like it is. 
I feel like I would know if it was, because that's really good. I mean, like, I know, like, Mega Medicham, Mega Morwile, they have huge power, pure power, but, like... Chestnut's attack is not bad. Okay, Chestnut's attack is completely respectable, as is. Adding pure power to that is complete overkill. So, maybe we'll play around with that at some point, I don't know. Sai, wouldn't this be great if the Elite Four came and stomped Team Rocket? Yeah, where are they anyway? Why aren't they doing that? That kid makes a great point. Where are the Elite Four right now? Why do I have to do this? I'm just a kid. We're gonna check out the dojo, though. Okay, so we should be able to get through this dojo only battling one side. So we're just gonna, like, hug the right-hand wall and not battle everyone. Because we should be fine in terms of XP. You're trespassing in a fighting dojo. Is it really trespassing if the door is wide open? And it... I mean... Level 67. That is lower than I thought. Don't get me wrong, I was expecting this to be a little bit lower in terms of levels than the actual gym. And we have obviously gone and done a little bit other than we should have, I guess. We changed paths, that's what I'm trying to say. We changed paths, diverged a little bit. Maybe we should have came here earlier. Oops. <laughs> Crab Brawler, Iron Defense, that's a clever move, look at that. Look at this smart martial artist right here. Is Fly still gonna be enough? Probably not. Yes it is, never mind, okay. I guess it is Stab. And that's not an evolved Pokemon. Even with Crab Brawler evolved, it's still pretty bad. Oh, speaking of. I love Crab Bominab. I love Crabominab. It's my favorite Pokemon name. <laughs> it makes it sound like Crab Kebab. Oh no. <laughs> Crab Kebab right here. Okay. Is it enough now? It should be. Yeah, okay. Another Iron Defense. At this point, it's probably smart for me to use Scald, right? I imagine. Maybe Onda Gelidux. That'd be Stab and have the burn chance. Skull is enough, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4 XP? That's pleasing to the eye. That's very pleasing to the eye. I like that. The simple things. We still have two Pokeballs up there. Although we've already got, like, Tyrogues from a bunch of people. I'm gonna be a little bit sad if they're just hit moms. I don't want them to be. Level 78, okay. Alright, well... There goes my thoughts out the window. I was like, hey, this place has probably got lower levels. Alright then. Close combat absolutely smacks. Goes for it again, but we're in the air. Uh, no defense drop. I do wish it would say if there was a defense drop, because at the moment I really don't think there is one. Pretty sure Fly would have KO'd anyway, because the latest base defense is like 65, so it's not that high. Selby is level 72. And you are defeated. Use stubbed fingers. What? The only thing that frightens us is psychic power. What about flying types? What do you mean? Grunt. I am- oh right, he's not calling me a grunt. He was probably actually grunting. That makes more sense. I am the karate master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. I didn't really come in here expecting mercy. I came in here expecting to get some fighting types for myself. Level 72. Dude, you're weaker than your gr Come on now. Come on now. The other dude had a level 78 Gallade. You're stronger than this. You're better than this. Fly is gonna just decimate this Hitmon League because his base defense is actually negative four. Hitmon Chan actually has some bulk to it. I was just checking he was going to have Hitmonchan. I wasn't sure for a second there. Could have switched it up on us. Oh, Focus Punch. However, it's still going to miss. Even after getting the move off, it still misses, and that just feels bad. At that point, like, oof. Fly still KOs it. Never mind. You should, uh... should look into changing your Pokemon. They, uh, they kind of suck. 
dude. Just letting you know. Pretty sure my Stunfist could have won that fight. Like, yikes, dude. Indeed, I have lost, but I beseech you. Do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like, Neva. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, we'll take it on Lee. It's the one I prefer. Do you want to give a nickname? No. <laughs> I just want to take the banner now. Enemies on every side. Uh, I'm not sure if the other trainers will still fight us, but we won't be finding out. I guess we'll check. I don't think the Hitmonlee is going to be changed in any special way, but I don't want to miss out on it if it does have a change. So we'll go back, we'll heal up, and we will give it a double check. Imagine if it's a Psychic type. That would be ironic. That'd be kind of great. I would enjoy that. Please make it a Psychic type Hitmonlee. <laughs> it's still a fighting type, obviously. Hasty nature, with that beautiful that beautiful defense and special attack stat right there. Whew. Limber to prevent paralysis with jump kick, brick break, low kick, and focus energy. It's a lot of kicks. But with that, I think we are ready to go ahead, take a quick peek into the Team Rocket base. These houses are really throwing me off, by the way. Ha! He's taking a snooze. What a fool. <laughs> I'm in. It's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense. Is it? Come on, let's be honest, they just have Facebook loaded. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, oh, well. Hey kid, what are you wondering here for? This is my test to see just what levels we are going to be expecting when we come in here next episode, really. Poochiena, that's powerful. Level 61. That is very very different to what I was expecting. 61? The dojo had a level 78, so did One Island. I can't tell what level I'm meant to be. I actually just can't tell. I never know whether I'm on par or not. I still have Tapu Koko on my team. I'm meant to swap that back. Tapu Koko is not a permanent member of the team, by the way. It's just there for HMs, which we don't need anymore. So we should really go and change that. But I'm dumb. <laughs> I'll probably forget. Uh, look at this dude with all of his non-evolved Pokemon at level 61. What is this dude? Are you like the lackey for the lackeys? What do you do? Although I guess if these people are just in the office, then maybe they just do office work, you know? And if they do office work, then do they really need strong Pokemon? I'm trying to make this make sense in my head, and it's not really going well. We didn't get the burn. We have Serene Grace. Skull has a 30% chance. That's a 60% chance. I know. Math's on point. Um, but yeah, the fact that I didn't get it makes me sad. Mighty Anna. Well, here comes attempt number two as we go for Onda Gelida. That was a strange intimidate effect. Is it because the color palette has changed? It is, isn't it? Because the color palette has changed on, on Charizard, all the effects that happen on Charizard are changed as well. That's cool. That's a... I mean, I'm assuming it's not intended, but we'll treat it as a feature rather than a glitch. It's a feature. A feature of the game. And it looks great. I personally love that. Now I want to test it with Celebi. We are going to remember that any time we get an opportunity to bring in uh, Celebi or Charizard against a Pokemon that we know for a fact can have Intimidate, we're doing it. Just to see the color palette. But for now, we're going to go ahead, we're going to take Tapu Koko off of our team. Because it's been there for uh, a little while too long. Okay, just a little bit. Just a couple of episodes longer than it should have. So we'll swap that out. Who was actually on our team? I haven't forgotten. Um, 
Lucario, that was right, okay. So we'll take Lucario back, level 70. <laughs> Just a little bit weaker than the rest of our team by now. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. It's still perfectly usable. So, that's how our team is going to look by the end of this. Next episode, we will go ahead, complete Saffron City. We will get all of the way to Giovanni and maybe get to Sabrina afterwards. We'll have to see. But for now, this is where we're going to be wrapping up for this episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!